Happy Friday everyone and welcome back to Chopin around the world as today we travel to one of the wonders of the world, the ancient Incan city of Machu Picchu. I am here right in the center of it. It's an adventure to get here and it's an adventure to discover it. Come with me, let's see what this is all about. But first, a Chopin attitude. This is an incredible place to visit and it's overflowing with uh, spiritual energy. It's a, it's a citadel that was built uh, in the 15th century by the Incas here in the, in the mountains of Peru. But uh, I'm sure you can do your research and find out about the history. What I would really like to share with you today is what it actually feels to be here. It's a, it's a magical place. So let's go and uh, discover a bit more. Now, to get to Machu Picchu, there are many ways and it depends how much time you have available. I had to choose the quickest way to get here, but uh, it is still quite, uh, quite a way and I think this is one of the reasons why getting here is so special. So, of course, first you have to arrive in Peru, you have to arrive in Lima, and from there you have to uh, take a domestic flight. That's what I did, I took a domestic flight to Cusco. 
Now, Cusco is at 3,400 meters, which is uh, well over 10,000 feet. So it is recommended to take one or two days to adjust a little bit to the altitude. And then from Cusco to get to Machu Picchu, well, this is where the fun starts. Um, you need to first get to another city, which is about two hours by car or by bus. Two hours in a normal day. In the morning that I chose to travel, well, there were demonstrations and blockades on the road. So um, it was uh, a little bit uh, more of a complicated route. But uh, anyway, from Cusco, you get to a town called Walataitambo. And from there, you board the train. The train goes an hour and a half and brings you to a little town called Aguascalientes. You know the Machu Picchu yet? From Aguas Calientes, you need to buy another ticket and get a bus, which will take you up the mountain. Better not to look down while you're going on the bus. It takes you up the mountain. And from there, you have arrived and you are in the beautiful citadel, the beautiful ancient, uh, ancient location of Machu Picchu. One of the greatest things to do when you're in Machu Picchu is climb the sacred mountain of Huayna Picchu. This is the one. It looks like a little mountain. It's about 700 meters or about uh, 2,000 feet of uh, steps. Let's go. I have made it to the top of Huayna Picchu Mountain. It is a little bit of a hike from uh, Machu Picchu downtown. And uh, it's worth the hike up the mountain, some small steps. But this is what you get. The uh, energy from the ancient mountain, from this uh, beautiful lost civilization. Is it worth it? It's, it's uh, definitely worth it. It's a, it's a phenomenal place to visit. Apart from the uh, hike, apart from the adventure, it doesn't come cheap. There is a cost involved in all these connections. But uh, once you're here, you get to enjoy this incredible place. <laughs> 